Yeah, I was just looking up uh, um, while you made that statement. I was looking up a map. You know, there's people who do maps from miners all around the world, mm -hmm. and you can see that there are miners everywhere. And and even still, when we look at these maps and and people make claim centralization and all sorts of things over pool mining, the fact is is that there's lots of people that are mining on their own. They're just mining their hashing power to the pool. And it's really distributed all around the world. If one pool that you're mining to goes down, you simply just move to another pool. If you're the pool owner, you just move to yeah. another country. It, it's, it's, it's a little bit more difficult than just packing up your shirt and your shoes and going. But um, if you don't go, then somebody gets more opportunity and that more opportunity inspires others. It's, um, so can I ask you a question on, on this? No, I just thought about it. It's like, sure. I always thought of pools as centralizing factors also, but it's not centralizing the, the hash power. It's just centralizing the reward. It, it, well, right? exactly. It's so, so the way Bitcoin uh, many generations back removed the solo miner out of it, like Divi is a full reference client. Um, it has the miner in it, which is actually a, 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 a fork of the Bitcoin miner, heavily modified. Mm -hmm. um, Bitcoin itself removed that from it. And now the, the core wallet doesn't have any of those features in it. So you have to mine to a pool. But you're, if you have a miner, let's say at home, um, you're not solo mining on your own. You're, you're pushing that power and sharing that hashing power through to the pool. And that's the way most mining goes. So really the hashing power is distributed all around the world. Um, but you're right. It's just that node that mines the block, that pool, then they split it between those miners, right? So, right. That's the reward part. So It's the reward the, part. Yeah. But the actual hashing, that's still highly distributed. Like if the pool goes down for whatever reason, those those miners may not may be losing funds but they're still well they're all mining. committed to they're all committed to mining it's just the fact yeah. is is that if i have 100 people where we're all putting all of our energy together to 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 win and one of us can win or we're more likely to have 100 players on a team competing mm -hmm. that all have the same jersey on the difference would be is that we're all pretty equally powered and so when when that when that person wins that combined together it gets split between those miners there's a lot of pools that are are are, are i'll read more into this because i built a pool um but we'll read into more about the bitcoin but it, it it's it's split between all of those uh, those miners yeah, you yeah, get a well, proportion based upon what your we can imagine power. is that um mm -hmm. the reason for that and it's probably something that in a way is also related to dv or at some point was is that the size of the reward is actually very big on Bitcoin, right? And the resource that you have to provide to get a chance to get that reward is also huge. And so someone alone huge, yes. with yeah, their own expensive. machine <laughs> would yeah. take maybe years to get one reward. And of course, that reward would 47. pay off very well for the work yeah. that was provided. However, it is very difficult. And we can, again, we can see that with our own users when they're waiting for their rewards. Um, so mm -hmm. here, that would be the same. And so creating those pools enabled people to actually get more frequently some exactly. pieces, some part of the reward while still uh, keeping a decentralized system. Uh, what are the, what is the power that a pool can have? Can a pool decide to seize the rewards? Can it, can it decide to play, to play wrong? Um, well, you, usually when you're pool mining, now uh, I'm not an expert in Bitcoin pool mining, although I've done um, Litecoin pool mining. I've done some ETH uh, uh, proof of work, by the way, just for fun, some some pool mining. But generally when you set up your, your miner, you set up a payment address and then yeah. you commit to hashing on that pool. And so then all of our hashing comes together because if I can hash X bazillion hashes per second, it's that's added to the X bazillion hashes per second that that you're hashing, right? And so that's twice the opportunity for one of us to win. And so that's how it's split. It's paid to that address. I suppose it could be a pool, could be malicious, but they would last what? One mine? Ten seconds. <laughs> it would be, yeah, it would right. Be, <laughs> it's, not, yeah. it's not a good long-term opportunity for anybody to operate a pool. Yeah. 
that is malicious in any way. And that's right. That's just, there's no benefit in the long term. You, and besides, you'd have to build up a relationship with enough yep. people. And so if you're a small pool with 10 people mining, it's very unlikely you're ever going to win any opportunity anytime anyway. So you as the pool miner would probably shut down long before you would be able to be malicious. I'm sure it happens. Somebody will probably say, hey, I was part of this and it happened. But, yeah, but, um, so, but yeah. so there is a centralization, right? Like it seems pretty clear that it is, it is a centralizing step because – it is. You are basically completely giving away your hashing power, and then you trust the, um, the pool to send you part of the reward in return, right? I think there's three elements to the decentralization. One is the hashing. I think that's relatively decentralized. The rewards are centralized, right? Because it goes to the pool. The other thing is control because the pool owner can say, you got to run this software in order to participate in this pool. So there's, yeah. there's the possibility of, 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 uh, of control in terms of large pools can say, everybody's running this software and then they have influence on what software is actually what, right. what influence mining yeah. software is actually being deployed throughout the whole network um so there's kind of like three elements and it looks like to me bitcoin uh does well on one um and then less well on the other ones let's put it that way uh and then other coins probably if they're if you think of sliding scales one to a hundred other coins may have different different uh um be better in different respects. Um, like, like there's no pooling in, well, there is, there's Divi go, right. There's pooling in, um, in Divi. Right. Right. But it's um, not, but, but that's not hashing, right. That's, that's you, you're giving somebody your money. Yeah, that would be true. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a centralized and service. They, and the weight is that way. So it becomes very centralized on the hashing part. That's right. And so it's, here it's, is the thing, yeah. right. Um, I think it was random string who told me that, but, um, a system is only equal to its weakest point, right? And so yeah. very clearly here we can see that um, the pools in that system require trust. Like that's basically what's happening, right? Like you trust those pools. So of course there is no trust in the actual validations of transactions and all that. Like it seems that this is uh, pretty secure on that front. Um, of course, there is the influence part that you just mentioned that um, could actually be pretty important. But yeah. on, on the other side, it's really the fact that um, you are giving away basically your authority over whatever could be earned from your ashing power. So that's why I'm saying you're giving away your ashing power. You trust the pool that they will reward you back, but in reality, you're just giving it away. So yeah, you're you're correct. Oh, I think I, I, I think yeah. that, but that's different than centralization. We're talking about trust at that point. That is centralized, but I think the overall distribution of the network in a decentralized aspect, there's always going to be some centralization. If I have a single node, which by the way, I'm syncing a full Bitcoin, fully indexed Bitcoin node right now. You're right. I'm centralized. That's my node. If I share that data with you, and it's just I share it with you and Rob. Um, I am that centralized source, but it's only centralized to the three of us, right? Yeah. And that's what it is. And there's many nodes and there's many nodes in Bitcoin mining. There's many mining pools and, and, uh, ant pool just happens to be the name I was looking at. It. It's it's Bitmain that makes all the miners. I, I was yeah. pulling up. No, but I think you have actually the reputation factor, right? Like very clearly when you have a trust factor then there is the reputation factor. Yeah, obviously, well, that's the way DPoS new, works, right? A new pool wouldn't get, uh, you know, the support that the big ones get, and then the big ones actually deserve the support to get. I, I think that um, I can't mention an exact number or uh, exact case, but I, I remember a few times that those pools actually refounded some fees that were paid uh, in error. And so... Um, they they definitely try to establish themselves as reliable partners in that in that ecosystem. So You're I'm not dead. I'm not saying it's bad. <laughs> yeah. Just just making sure that yeah. we realize yeah, where it where it is um, where it requires trust and where it doesn't. Yeah, I think Satoshi I, Satoshi would have. I think if we go back over history, 
and we sort of condense it down and we infer a little bit. I don't think Satoshi was happy on the way that it, that it, it fell when we went to GPU mining kinds of things. I think that w if, if you were to see it as going to pools, he wouldn't exactly be as happy. But the fact is, is that no one person can operate any one machine that is a single machine that any person can accomplish any sort of amount of hashing power that can compete with people who come together and mine in a pool. And so um, is it centralized to a, to a degree more than if we all had a laptop and you know, 500,000 of us were all competing mining together on our single laptop? Absolutely. It's, it's more centralized than that. But I, I think to say that, that Bitcoin pooling is centralized is a stretch. That's all I, I want to say. Yeah, because everybody, I kind of agree. Also, the, the pool is dead if nobody participates in it. Yeah, Otherwise, also, there isn't just alive. one pool. I mean, I know there's like two or three big ones, but there's other ones too. I, yeah. I, I, like, it's, I mean, I know that 10 pools or 12 pools or whatever isn't super decentralized, but... I mean, it's it's not like it's not like this one thing, and they all, those pools have to compete also. So Correct. I, I, I think the system's in pretty good shape. Boy, we digressed so, on this conversation. Like, we we talked about markets. We, we went I to agree mining. with that, but then, based on that, then the whole economy is decentralized because there are several competitors for everything. So yeah, I I don't agree with that. I think that um, decentralization and permissionless systems are actually uh it's on or off right like if you are if you're permissioned then there is a scale but if you're permissionless there is no scale you're either permissionless or you are not right and so here while this is a much better system than the fiat system it is still not in an ideal situation where people are independently being part of the system we're again getting in a situation but where they we are, are independently part of it and i have the choice of either solo mining which won't give me i, I well actually you, you can't don't. solo mine you don't but, so yeah. that's what i'm saying right so not i not ideally solo mine. this is not possible anymore on bitcoin and and again this is where we are actually saying that tv offers that that actual solution right so um, it is it is actually an interesting point now yeah. Again, I like I say for all the things, right? The meme coins, DeFi, and here the pools. I think that we need intermediary steps to get where we want to go. And I oh, think yeah. the pools have been like serving a wonderful, um, wonderfully that role. Um, and yeah, and I think that's a great step forward. Now, I, I do believe that having people being directly part of the network is is critical. Yeah.